day, you can very easily, without lying, move it to another day. No, I feel like not even that. I feel like people who who are like like cunning, like had the restricted parents in the beginning, when they have stuff to do, like do in an hour, those guys are the most efficient at oh, making yeah, for some sure. crap up and just submitting it. Like I don't know how they do it, but they pull something out of thin air and they're like, I got a five page essay due in two hours, boom, I got it done. And I'm just like, How did you do it? It's like, oh in two hours? Yeah, I just made it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how these people do it, but like, Well there's there's this thing called the um Parkinson principle. You know what that is? No, what is that? It's um it's that you will finish a task in how much time you have allotted yourself to do it. So it's that it's actually one of the if you've if anyone has ever read the book Four Hour Work Week. It's actually a really four uh, hour work week? Four hour work week. Yeah. It's a really uh it's a pretty popular book, especially for people trying to start businesses. Um and like trying to live, you know, trying to be self employed and not really work anymore. Mm-hmm. Hence the name Four Hour Work Week. Mm-hmm. Um but there's two big principles. One of them is the Parkinson principle, which is that when you work, uh, if you have a week to do a task, but you only do it within the last two hours, you'll get it done like just as well within the last two hours, because that's how much you actually, that's how much time you actually gave yourself. So no matter how much time you give yourself, you can typically get it done. So the Parkinson principle and the way you apply that to your, to your work is we can shift back. Sorry, I'm going on a tangent here. No, I mean, kind of thing. but, um, the, uh, so the Parkinson principle is if you want to get something done instead of giving yourself a week, even if you think it might take a week, just try giving yourself like a lot less than a week. Try giving yourself like five hours and you'll get it done. Yeah. And if you if you shorten the time frames, your productivity will skyrocket. Like, um, yeah, like and, no, and yeah, I, don't I feel like. You know, when some of us are procrastinators, some of us just yeah, work sure. better, like, with less time. For sure. Yeah, so if you, like, self-impose that pressure yeah. on yeah. yourself, like, yeah, I'm going to get it done. Yeah. Like, like I work it's better so under hard. pressure than with more time. It's so hard to self-impose that pressure when there isn't, like, a ticking time bomb, basically. Like, f- and the ticking time bomb is usually, like, so here's what I've done, actually. This is this is something that I'm, I, I've, I'm proud I've found this system for myself. If the ticking time bomb is the due date of the thing right yeah what most people do and what i have done for a long time when i'm when uh, as long as i've been in school is uh, except for the past couple years is if something is due a week from now in my head i'm thinking okay it's sunday by next sunday i have to get this done and then it's in my mind from sunday to sunday but what i do what i started doing was i'll be like okay this is due a week from now i'm gonna start it like let's say it's due next sunday at 12 I'm going to start it next Sunday at 8 p.m. And I'm not going to freaking think about it until next Sunday at 8 p.m. <laughs> but why? I, I've done that before. Because it's so much better. It, first of all, it's so much better for your freaking head, stress-wise. Second of all, I know I'm not going to do anything yeah. until the last second. Yeah, okay. Which isn't necessarily, like, okay, it can be a bad thing. But then if you, like, it's worse for me to know I'm not going to do anything with until the last second. And then do it in the last second, but then stress the whole time. Yeah. It's okay. best for like if I can say those four hours or for that, then I'm in control of my time. I'm still in control of my schedule. Yeah, exactly. And so now what I've been doing is I've been applying that to, uh, and I want to hear your guys' thoughts about this. Yeah. But I've been applying that to literally everything, my exams. So last semester, uh, and alhamdulillah, I did well. My last two semesters, kind of actually, the last two years of college, I kind of did this. But then the last t- two semesters, I like owned up to it and I did it. I did it like. Yeah, I was like, I was like, this is just my system now. If I'm taking, uh, if I'm taking like four or five or six legit classes, right? Uh, let's say, let's say like I'm taking five legit classes and then like I'm taking three credits of whatever. So usually I'm taking like eighteen, uh, between sixteen and eighteen credits. Okay, so now if I have five legit cr- classes, that's five times three exams, two <laughs> midterms and two finals, uh, is fifteen exams. Wow. So, yeah. right and that's that's like a normal okay uh, maybe five if you're taking it's four, four it's four usually okay yeah. yeah four if you're taking four legit classes that's 12 exams right yeah just about you know how many nights i studied last semester 12 nights i had 12 exams i studied for 12 nights i just studied for each class each exam the night before what if you had an overlap then i then i i went two days before yeah, yeah. i started two days before dedicated one night to one class dedicated another night to, a, to the other class yeah 
And when I say night, I mean like the night. I didn't. I don't. I didn't. Usually didn't even spend like the whole day. But I would pull an all nighter. I see. And I would understand. You have to understand if you understand the, like you can pull all nighters. You just have to understand. Okay, this is gonna screw up some things, and I have to be ready to fix my sleep schedule right afterwards. I can't take such and such amount of naps afterwards. I have to be. You have to be very prepared going into it. Yeah. You have to know that it's gonna screw things up. You have to know. Um. And by the way, you know that thing that people say about like sleeping before an exam, like you should really you should sleep get a good exam. Sleep exam. So in, in I've actually um, from my experience, I've taken most of my exams with like little to no sleep. Yeah, I agree. from yeah. my experience, I've been okay. That's not to say that I can't yeah. do better if I go to sleep. But in my opinion, if you still have material left to learn, you better learn it. Learn it. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, what do you guys think about that? Like, I what do you guys think about I agree. Decision? With the self-imposing thing, right? I I'm a huge believer in that. But I feel like I have the exact opposite approach of you. Mm. Basically, the way I've been. Yeah, sorry about that. We had a bit of a technical difficulty, but we're back. So yeah, as I was saying, I yeah, I I agree with what you say about the self-imposing and everything, right? I think that's a really good idea to be able to set personal goals mm. for yourself and actually meet them compared to like what real real world goals are. But the thing is, for me at least, is I get stressed really, really easily. Mm-hmm. And I can't just put it out of mind. So, like, for the past two years, I've been taking, like, 20 credits 20 credits per semester, right? In hopes of me chilling for the next two years, which yeah. is, alhamdulillah, turned out to be the way. Yeah. But, yeah, because I'm taking 20 credits, that's usually, like, five or six classes, right? And those end up being, like, a mix of, like, homework, essays, co- like, CS projects and stuff like that. So, I can't really just say, you know what, I'll, put it, I'll get it out of my mind and do it later. It's going to be in my mind no matter what, at least for me. I don't have that mental strength. So rather, I t- as soon as I get an assignment, I try to guesstimate how long will this take me. And then I'll be like, you know what? Let me do it as soon as I can right now. So I'll tell you this. That's, that's, a, that's a better and more responsible system than mine. Or no, sorry. It's more responsible. It's definitely more responsible. It's working. It's good. I don't know why it's not moving. But, yeah, good yeah. but anyways, yeah. So that's a more responsible system than mine. Um, because I will say the nights that I do study, that I do pull those all nighters, sometimes they get really stressful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really stressful. It's like, oh, why definitely. am I doing this now? Yeah, yeah. I've had yeah. regrets too. Like, I basically use both your systems except more procrastinating. <laughs> it's like I'm used to it at this point. Well, I think you have a good system actually, from what I've seen. From what, I, what I've seen from you. I yeah, mean, I, I mean, I my classes probably aren't as intensive as your guys's, but. What's your major? Uh, business analytics and supply chain and to be honest like the classes i've taken yeah, so far aren't business aren't business anything nothing. difficult at all <laughs> but like if you don't study beforehand well, either work way, is yeah. work is work and having work on your plate yeah. you still need a system to go about that yeah and what i've seen from you is you have a strict schedule mm. in terms of when you're dealing with other people when you're actually working maybe you're not doing actual work but in terms of like, oh, this is the time when I do this. Sorry, I yeah. can't. I yeah, can't yeah. do this and that. And that's also good. I think it comes down to... I think whatever whatever, um, whatever system that you want to use, it just has to be something where you're not constantly like, oh, I have to do this, I have yeah. to do this, I have to do this for like a week. Whether it be by establishing a stricter schedule and you know maybe that's the way that you do maybe that's the way that you reduce stress <clears throat> maybe the thing that you do is is see if you can get it done as soon as possible so it's out of your way mm-hmm. or maybe the thing you do is my technique mm-hmm. which is that you hold it off until you actually feel like spending mental energy on it and not spend any mental energy on it otherwise because if you have these stressors dude that mm-hmm. is how that is how you that's how people in college Die. People, <laughs> yeah. Die. No, <laughs> Honestly, though, like no, literally, stress is like. Yeah. It just I mean, eats that's a, like the extreme. It eats. Of it, no, it eats away it, uh, away yeah. at you. I, so I, I think stress like makes us deal with it different ways. For like me and you, we're like more procrastinators, right? If you want to use that term, for you, yeah. you have you have a system, have right? A system, yeah, sure. But for me, as a procrastinator, like even through high school, like eventually towards the end, like I figured out through all that procrastinating, like once you do the all nighters, right? 
you figure out I need to study this, this, this. Yeah. For me, it's like it made me more efficient in my studying. So yeah, I'm not for like, sure. I'm not like sure. overloading myself with unnecessary crap. For sure. For like sure. on exam days, sometimes people just, you know, some people ask questions to the professor. Like, yeah. I don't even listen because I'm like, I don't know what they're asking. Because yeah. yeah. I feel like it's going to trip me up. Yeah, but I feel yeah, like yeah. I have a more effective uh-huh. system because I procrastinated. Like, I, I know what I need to study. Dude, you are so I, right about I that. I laid all out. You're so right about that. There's this thing called, uh, so this was the other principle in the book, and this actually relates to what you're saying. So the, the Parkinson principle is the first thing, which is that you will get a task done in the allotted amount of time that you give yourself. The other principle is called the Pareto principle. You ever heard of that? No. Uh, if you've taken like a statistics class, maybe the Pareto distribution is something that you're familiar with. But the Pareto principle is that of um, if you have a set of things that, uh, that, that produces... So I know that's a vague term, I'll explain. If you have a set of things that produces, 20% of that population, of that which produces, will produce 80% of the production. Mm, what are you saying? 20%? So I said, that, I said that in a really uh, confusing way. But 20% yeah. of things that are supposed to bring about good or things that are supposed to bring about production will bring about 80% of the production. And then the last 80% will only bring about 20% of the production. The point of that is that a very small percent of what you're doing is actually responsible for a very large percent of the good that comes. Depending on which group you're in. No, no, no. Uh, So here, I'll I'll, I'll make this more clear. Let's say that you spend 100% of your time. Let's say you spend two hours studying mm-hmm. it is very likely that a very small oh i know part of your time that you spent maybe and so the pareto the uh pareto principle is the 2080 but it has different forms so it can be like uh 1090 95 um, yeah 595 whatever let's say within two hours 20 minutes is like your gold hot spot and if you were to only study for those 20 minutes you would have been 95% as effective as if you studied for the Oh, I see, hours. I see. Yeah, yeah, okay. You get what I'm saying? So now that's another big principle. So now what you said was you kind of have your own system because since you procrastinated, you found what works yeah. for you. And so now that's the same for me where I've found that now since I've limited my time frame so much mm-hmm. that I actually have time to study in, my studying is golden. I'm using the perfect resources. It's effective. It's eff- eff- effective. Yeah, no, definitely. Like, you guys took Xbox, right? In high school, I took... Uh, it was basically AP Lang. Uh-huh. So, yeah. I didn't have to take Xbox when I came in because, like, uh, we do our essays. I took the exam. Yeah, exactly. But when I had to write the essays for that class, I'd do, like, every Friday, basically what you did. I waited the last day. Yeah. I did it, like, five hours before it was due. Yeah. And it made me more, like, effective, like, find what text I need to get or exactly. whatever. It just made me, like, write my, my essays now. I just have a system. Exactly. Writing them, like, but it doesn't take me long. You know, exactly. but the but the main argument against what we're saying, like we're three of the same type, right? Mm-hmm. So we all we're all in agreement. But like, if I tell someone like my dad, like uh, my dad, what we're saying? Oh, here, I never told my parents. This. <laughs> no, no, but like if I were like the old fashioned people, they'd be like, "Oh, you aren't producing your best work." Uh... So you might be your maximum efficiency, but as you said, that maximum efficiency is not lasting the entire time. Bro, but look, okay, if I'm so, if I'm working on something that I care about. If I'm working on this podcast, I want to produce my best work. The time that I spend on this podcast does not feel like time that's gone to waste. But sometimes with classes, yeah. I'm so like, we have bro, to we have to specify this. So like the we're in this thing we're talking about like our systems is more about like classes and stuff we hate to do. It's more of a it's more of a something, it's more of a thing that you apply to things that you just need to get done. Yeah. Exactly. If you're trying to make a piece of art, if you're trying to make something yeah. that you can be proud of, if you take pride in your work even in school, sure. Go There's ahead. People like that, go ahead. We we welcome that. You know, that whatever you take pride in, spend time in it because at the end of the day, those things that you take pride in you don't take pride in getting them done. You take pride in two other more important things. You take pride in the journey from start to finish. And What's that saying? What's that saying? It's not... It's not about the finish. It's not about the destination. It's about how you got there. There you go. And then the other thing that you take that, that that you find joy in 
is how the actual end product looks. Exactly. We're talking about things when you need to get through something. Also, you know, um, you want to, you don't want to just pass classes. You want to do well in them. Yeah. And I still think my system allows you to do well in a yeah. class. No, but like, we, we, we wouldn't be using it if we hadn't gotten this far. No, but if we, it, it produces results, right? But yeah. it's not your best work. I, um, I disagree. I think so, bro, I, 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 if it didn't give me the results I wanted, I would have changed it a yeah, long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, do, you exactly. think, do you think you wrote your best essay in those two hours? Compared dude, to, I actually honestly, did. Like, dude, I, I freaking did. This kid who Sam from he started like three weeks ago and he got like a seventy five. Bro. Yeah, bro, <laughs> no, and but like, like, like two hours. hours. Bro, that's <laughs> just. I think that's just your like, like intelligence. But like, imagine if you finish that. Let's say you do. Let's take a look at my thing. My fatal flaw is once I'm done. I'm done. I don't give a damn about mm-hmm. it. I'm not looking back at that thing. But imagine I finish my work in two hours right. on a Monday. My essay is due Friday. Imagine if I took a look at it even for 10 minutes on Tuesday and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I think I could have produced yeah, more work. Sure, yeah, but I could have tweaked some things around. Exactly. Yeah. But I still think it was like good enough to get me where I want. Exactly. exactly. Good enough. Good enough. No, no, I agree no. With that. But good enough to get you where you want it could be just good enough. Right, like, for example, if I'm trying to get an A in a class, yeah. I don't care about anything past the line which is the grade that i need for an a so i don't care about doing my best work i just care that it's right enough. and mm-hmm. yeah maybe maybe if if i spent you know an hour on it every day looked at it for 10 minutes i could i could get my teacher to be really nice to me and like, exactly, get my exactly, teacher yeah. like my work. i don't care yeah. i don't care i'm just trying to get the grade i want and piece the hell out of that class finish <laughs> up get my degree especially bro Especially like for, like, like what when you when you are like in when you change your gear to like job hunting, mm-hmm. like bro, just get me out of this freaking place. Let me, like, let me spend some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like you can just look at the counter on looking top. Looking for yeah. a job. I don't know why it's not like. No, but if the counter on top's going, then we're fine. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Both your seniors now too, right? I'm a junior. I'm a senior. Zero. I don't even know a great dream, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I can basically do whatever the hell I want. I decide to become a yeah, junior. But that that um, I, an AP Lang. So now yeah. the kids that the kids that did the that like spent a lot of days. That was the thing in that essay. class to like start before. Yeah, but then when you're yeah. actually taking the it's exam, it's like when you're taking the exam, like you don't have like a week to like look at the text. Exactly. So that like trained my mind to like, exactly find what I need. Another thing. Just, another thing that I get a lot of flag from for my parents is that when i do stuff like that mm-hmm. do you feel like you guys actually retain what you learn yes really i feel like i just lose it as soon as i'm done well i th- um i th- I i've, I've lost it in some cases i've lost all of when it but if it's stuff you need to memorize then you need to give yourself a couple of days. yeah what you what? give yourself a couple of days if it's stuff you need to memorize well i mean i haven't come across it, anything where i've need to retain in my classes yet yeah. But like something like CS one eleven, like I've retained stuff from that. Yeah, a simple class. If, like if it's that. conceptual stuff, you yeah. can still do it the night before and you hold yeah. on to it. My thing when I was in a senior in uh, high school, trying to decide what major I should become, I my first choice that I clicked and pressed submit on was to go to school of pharmacy for Rutgers. Right, mm. so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. But then I realized I have a really bad memory. Like, I don't know if it's because my style, like I said, or just a really bad memory, but I can't retain things, so I swap to CS. So now whenever I take a CS class, I use my method. I finish my project early. I sometimes go to lecture and, like, you know, look through the notes, slides and stuff. Mm-hmm. But as soon as I leave that class, I don't remember anything. Like, that's why, like, when young people, younger kids come up to me and ask, like, help, do you remember what you did in algorithms and stuff like that? I'm like, dude, I don't remember what I did in that class. I just got by and passed, cl- yeah. passed it. Yeah, I with the classes we're in, I mean the majors we're in, we don't need to like necessarily retain it because we can just like use the information. Yeah, exactly. Sure. We yeah. can just pull it up like stack yeah. over Yo, or something. Speaking of pharmacists, okay. <laughs> what? I, sorry, I'm going to stop up. Or what? Speaking, are we speaking of up pharmacists. Or? No, I mean uh, I'm going on a tangent here. We'll come back to this. Okay. Oh yeah, well, I mean we can wrap that talk about. I was just wondering first. where you pulled pharmacists from. No, because I said because ph- he's I'll a school of pharmacy. Oh, so wait, I was gonna go. I didn't hear that. Okay, so as I said before, because Ahmed that. wasn't paying attention, I was gonna go into pharmacy. Dude, I just missed your word. <laughs> I was gonna go to pharmacy, but I have a terrible memory, so I didn't. Oh, okay, dude. Oh yeah. By the way, these things, I didn't dude. Hear that part. Sometimes My I bad. tell people, I tell people like, okay, I'm gonna be real Damn, honest. Been a pharmacist. I I hope, I I hope people. Who, I hope the wrong people don't hear this, but I didn't really go to a lot of classes. 
Yeah, same. At all. I don't admit it. Do you? And that's not to say I didn't learn the things because I learned them very well. I think I learned them better than if I had gone to the classes. Yeah. Uh, maybe. You know, Let me just say one thing but, before you continue. Yeah, yeah. Not going to classes is fine. And I don't know where you're going with that. But I just want to say that if you're trying to become a person who doesn't go to class, realize that you will never have any connection with your professor whatsoever. So if you're in the type of major that like, yeah. Yeah, for us, I don't care. <laughs> I shouldn't care. I shouldn't care. But like if you're trying to like, I don't know, go to grad school yeah. or trying to do pre-med or whatever and like trying to find research labs and stuff, you better go yeah. to class I, and I just make hate, that connection. I just hate when people bring up the argument, oh, you're paying for like classes to like yeah. learn. Like you don't have to go. To, I'm getting, I'm going there for the grade. You're paying to take I'm the exam. No, I'm yeah. paying to get my exactly. diploma. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, so, um, yeah. Also, if you're pre-med, you shouldn't, I personally don't think that this whole like, oh, wait until last day type studying, uh, except for some classes, because if you're pre-med, it is a lot of like, um, my, my you have to know stuff yeah. for a longer time or whatever it might be. So maybe it doesn't work. But I don't know. Maybe you could talk to them. Yeah. Me. I feel like this only works I mean, for we're, 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 yes. we're way different. Yeah. yeah. Our stuff. Um, so yeah. Uh, by the way, just to clarify, I'm uh, EC, electrical and computer engineering he's cs and he's a business major yeah um so yeah so it can work for us what i was about to say was um what was i about to say you're, you're saying, saying about, about pharmacy no no, no not no. going to class i hate to yeah it. not going to class okay whenever i tell people like oh i i i don't go to class it works for me and i'm like i recommend trying it just a mm -hmm. little bit they're always like oh man that only works like mm -hmm. That that only works like oh if you're if you're smart yeah. or something no dude that's yeah. a lie dude. anyone can freaking yeah. do this I I promise I promise anyone can do this it's just a matter of so like like Ahmed said you need to you need to perfect your method yeah, yeah. and you need to be you need to be systematic about it you can't just not go to class and then do well you cannot go to class and establish a system where you still learn things without going to class. Yeah. I, um, I used to say when I was a kid to my parents that, oh, look, um, um, my friends didn't study at all. Look at them, right? Mm -hmm. But that's false. So you, you can't just expect to, like, not do anything yeah. and just magically know stuff. Like, yeah. we're, not, we're not, like, magic. We don't, yeah. like, yeah. absorb information yeah. by touching it. Like, you yeah. have to put in the effort. Coming if, out of high school, like, I had this system of... Uh, at that time, I like I learned how to self learn. Yeah. So I was like, there's yeah. no need for me to like sit there for an hour, waste my time. Yeah, exactly. Being like playing Papa Pizzeria <laughs> <Yeah. during> lecture. <laughs> no, exactly. So the main thing is main thing for Ashi continues is if you you need to learn somehow. So if you want to put in the effort during class, go ahead. But if you don't, then you better put the effort in Absolutely. outside of class. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You need to put the effort in outside of class. But you need to perfect your system. If you want to reduce the amount of time that you're spending on a class, you don't just randomly reduce it. Yeah. Because then you're literally just getting in less hours. What you need to do is you need to perfect your system so that you require less time. So what that means is, okay, so we were talking about, oh yeah, I was talking about the Pareto distribution. Mm -hmm. So 20% of that which produces will yeah, produce yeah, 80%. Yeah. So now if you think about your studying time, um, let's say you study for 100 minutes, an hour and 40 minutes, um, typically maybe 10 to 20 minutes of that is going to be your really productive time so yeah. now you figure but now also you can say that if you have if you have four resources for four things that you're looking at or five things that you're looking at typically the one that's golden is just one yeah it's just one yeah and you can and you can have friends that will tell you that will fill in the gaps in those other four you need friends in the class first of all that's if true. you're not a social being and you're trying to do yeah, things on your big, own you need to become facts, a social yeah. being yeah. okay you need to become a social being and you need to learn how to work with people to get information yeah and the other thing is okay so now these four resources whittle them not dumb down to one and you know a great way to know which one is the best resource if a class has quizzes yeah like once a week or something or if they have anything online that's like a practice quiz or something just within the first couple of weeks narrow down which resources using those quizzes narrow down which resources yeah. are good even if it's a graded quiz you can sacrifice a quiz uh, this is uh, be careful with this be very careful with this okay you can sacrifice a quiz grade That's for right. the sake of of knowing which resource is important is yeah. important yeah because don't well, sacrifice an exam 